Welcome everyone to the final stage of learning how to sing and play guitar, and it is called mastery. Now, contrary to what you think this is going to be, this is absolutely not the video where I tell you to practice the song all the time. This is actually the video where I tell you to stop practicing the song and throw it away. No, don't throw it away, just shelve it. Um, so basically, uh, there's two ways you can do this. Um, I like to rate pro progress on like a scale of one to 10. So listenable is like one to five. Um, like you've got like 50% at least of the song done. Um, then you getting confident is usually going to get you from a five to a, to like five to a six and a half, seven. Uh, and then when you get like master arrangement, you're getting like a seven to an eight and then mastery that, that, that moment between eight and 10, like getting a song from like between an eight and a 10, um, the first parts are usually fast. Listenable is very quick. Confident is maybe double the amount of time of doing listenable. Um, arrangement is is around the same amount of time. If you're good at the arrangement part, if you're not very good, it takes a little bit longer as like building the confidence element. Um, then mastery is just tenfold the amount of work compared to everything else. Now to master a song truly, to really be like, I don't miss a melody, I don't miss a lyric, things like that. Um, there's a level of musicianship that you need to develop. Now, you can sit and practice that same song over and over again uh, and only be mastering that one little element of that uh, or you can go and learn other songs. And you can you go through the same process of listenable, confident, and things like that, and you will eventually pick up more skills. As long as the songs you are learning are challenging some part of your playing, and just the fact of like learning new lyrics uh, is enough of a challenge <laughs> to be like, hey, I'm gonna get better at vocal rhythms, I'm gonna get better at vocal melodies and lyrics, and and getting like chord changes. There'll be chords that you'll be like, oh, that's so weird. That's an interesting. I tell you what, one interesting chord change that I did was like, man, I'm so bad at this. In Your Atmosphere by John Mayer was like such a refreshing challenge for my for my performance um, stuff. Uh, I've been having heaps of fun uh, on the stream where I started learning it. But I'm always pushing myself to like, what's a more challenging thing that I can do? What's the thing that's going to like throw my playing out of whack and give me like a better like you're expanding the scope of your knowledge. Now, so that's when it comes to mastery. Um, there is a really great analogy of a pottering, like these. there's two classes that are at a pottery school. Um, and then the pottery master, I don't even know what you call them, the pot master, whatever, is like, all right, one class, I want you to make the most perfect pot you can make. And then went over to the other class and said, I want you to make as many pots as you can by the end of our semester. Now, you're wondering like, well, who made the best pot? Turns out the ones that did the pottery many, many times and they made as many as they could because of the sheer reps and they were iterating every time learning, they made more pots and those individual pots were better than the perfect pot. Because the perfect pot, you know, if you've only got one thing to work on, you don't really get a good context of everything else around and you don't build up the skills around it. So one song is not going to make you great. Um, learn heaps of songs. There's going to be things that you pick up from all these different kinds of songs. So um, that is what this is all about. Mastery comes from you stop practicing the song that you've already gotten pretty comfortable at. If you hit the arrangement stage, um, you're already at like a seven out of 10 um, and I'm really proud of you. Um, and at that point, leave it and come back and play it when you like, you can go back and practice another song, but you come come back and play it. But basically you're going to stop practicing the song that you just nailed um, to that level. Then you're going, the step two is go learn another song that's quite challenging. Um, something new, something fresh. It could be like a different melody, a lower lower melody that's more challenging for your vocal, uh, extra chords, I don't know, just another song that you like to play and you're like, I wanna know what it feels like to play it. That's just a whole, you know, another thing to do. Uh, then as you're working through the new material, you can come back to the song that you already learned 
And what you'll find is as you have learned new things, you will start to hear things in this seven out of 10 that you're actually like, hmm, I can bring that out a bit better. Or I can bring that out a better. And it's all through these like little iterations um, uh, that you will get better. Like, uh, like I'm a huge fan of this guy, Alex Hormozzi. And he says like, it, um, it's not about the silver bullet. It's about the, like, the, it's not about one silver bullet. It's about a, a thousand golden BBs. That is what mastery is. Mastery on your instrument is you not looking for the silver bullet of you just nailing that one song. It's you learning lots of material and all those little things that you get from all the different material will all come towards what you do and your musicianship and you will have like this broad understanding that when you do want to be niche and you do want to be like, I am going to nail this bad boy. I'm going to get so good at it and you come back to it after having like, you know, these fresh takes on music, oh, mm, you will get it. It would, and you will squeeze the juice. So like at the beginning, you're just like, you know, you know, when you get a lemon and you just like, you grab a lemon and you want to, you want to squeeze the lemon juice and you're like, squeeze it and it's like, everything comes out really, really fast, but there's still so much juice left to squeeze. Now, if you try to squeeze that with your hand, you know, that's like, it don't work. It's so frustrating. You're going to be like, ah, ah, ah. But you get an apparatus, toss it in there, you get it all out. It is gone, done, deal, boom. Oh, you got all the juice out of that bad boy. That's what learning new songs is. New Learning new songs is getting an apparatus and then you will take those new songs and all that knowledge that you got and you will come back to that old song and you will just wring everything out of it and it'll be like, mm. you, you'll come back. Trust me, this thing, uh, if you haven't experienced it before, it is the best best feeling of like when you haven't practiced a song in a long time you come back to it and you're like Ooh, i'm gonna get better at this one that is that is like one of the best feelings when it comes to music when you're just like you didn't think you could get better at it and then you get better as a musician and then you come back and you're like i'm going to make this one better um so that is uh that is a a big reality. So the stage four. Um, so after you've done that, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting, I'm going to rant. I'm just having a bit of fun right now. Uh, but step four basically of this process is don't stop practicing, record yourself and keep growing. Very simple. Um, record yourself is like a huge thing. Listen to yourself back and be like, Hey, where am I making mistakes? Um, and uh, that's pretty much how you're going to get good at singing and playing guitar. So, I'll make another video after this to chat about like the next part of the course because we will go into like really niche stuff, but it will be song specific. But this is the most general way that I can think of um, reverse engineering what I do um, every time I play. This is the best practice, I think. Um, so hopefully this helps you. Hopefully this serves you. If you have a media immediately applied it and you're already seeing results please let me know jump into our community chat about it but um i would love to see your results and um yeah good luck with this so remember mastery is about you exploring and learning new things so don't don't hang around one song all the time um because the other songs are going to give you they're going to give you some some experience that you just won't get from just playing one thing over and over and over again um I will say though, uh, if you don't um, change lanes, like if you just sit there and practice one song over and over again, um, you might get really, really close to the recording. Uh, the byproduct of that, that kind of practice is you might sound exactly like the recording and you will have one song that sounds good. And typically when people are like, wow, that sounded great, what else do you play? is usually the next, like, can you play me another song? <laughs> and if anyone's been a part of our streams, y'all know one more song. It's a bloody, we have a bloody emoji for it. But to me, that's the, that's the sad thing. Like the amount of energy that goes to get a song to a 10, um, if you were to just do it that one way, um, you're going to put in all those hours into this one song and you might get it perfect. Um, 
And I've seen video, I, like one of the best examples that I can give is Neon, right? Like I create like the most polarized audience whenever I play that song <laughs> because I've got people who are like, you're not doing the crab claw. It's like, yeah, because like <laughs> I don't care because I care about the groove of the song. I care about playing it my way. I care about, you know, doing a cover like it's my own adapt. Uh, like it's my own version of it. I'm having fun. But the thing I don't fuck with is the vocal rhythm and the melody. Like I don't mess with that. Now, you will look at some videos of these guitarists that note for note, they can play neon. Like they can play it like fucking perfect. But it, they just fall apart as they get through the the sections because there's parts that are just so ad-libbed by John Mayer that like, you can't replicate that till you've learned how to feel that. You don't know how to do the solo sections till you know how to to feel the way he he plays solos. You got you got to feel that, that like feel that groove, get that stuff. And that mastery only comes from like playing hours of different music, hours of different like cuz if you look at John Mayer, right? You know, you want to be practicing, you know, BB King, you want to be practicing Steve Ray Vaughan, you want to be practicing, you know, Jerry Garcia, things like like all these other Jimi Hendrix, like you want to be listening to all those people and that's how you're going to get the groove that he's got. Tomo Fujito, for instance. Like even to, even the whole groove of Neon is an iteration of a Tomo Fujita funk groove. Like Tomo Fujita does a slapping technique, like a slapping finger picking thing. And that's what Neon came, that's, that's how Neon was literally written. John Mayer did that exercise thing that Tomo Fujita showed him and then he gave it a good try. Couldn't get it right, but it inspired a cool little groove and he's like, ooh, I could turn this into a song and then he turned it into a song. Like, that's that's how this is always done. So ideally, I want to build musicians. I want you all to, to, to see how I see music uh, and if it resonates with you, just keep winning um, and keep having heaps of fun. I'm here to help cheer you on. And just remember that like mastery does come from that. If you're going to sing and play music, that's where you're going to get mastery. Play as much music as you can, taste as much as you can, and you will just, the benefits that you will see are just unmatched. And then you do it over years and you'll be like, oh my God, I did not even know I could do this. It's almost like Luman was right. Anyway, I appreciate you all for listening to the video. Thank you for hanging out with us. Hopefully this beginner part of the course is going to be fantastic for you. Um, and I can't wait to hear your feedback on it. So let's get the ball rolling and I will catch y'all in the next video.